So this is my first time in the Kalib Canyon district of Zion National Park. We're in Utah and we have a permit to hike the famous subway. It's gonna be a good one. What do you guys think? Let's do this last day. Yep. Save the best for last. Yeah, looking forward to this one. It's Nine miles. All right, so we're on the Left Fork River right now. This is Collip Canyon, and uh, it's a permit required hike. We're set to go for the subway, baby. This is gonna be a great hike. 80 permits are issued today. Some people do what they call the top down. That is more of a technical route, requires some repelling and offers some swimming through some cold water. We are doing the bottom up route, less technical, but still considered a rather strenuous hike. As you heard, it's eight to nine miles long out and back. I'm really excited about this one. So this trail is not maintained by the National Park Service. And even right now you can see there's a, a fork in the road here. We just began, go left or right. Um, people have said it's a little tricky to follow this trail. so. Uh, GPS as much as you can, but it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. We've walked maybe a tenth, two tenths of a mile so far, and at this point, we're gonna drop directly into the canyon. It's straight down from here. So this is the part that people talk about that is a really steep decline and one of those grueling inclines to get up and out when you're already exhausted after the hike, but it's doable and it's going to be worth the views. This is going to be fun coming back up. So I spoke before we started to do that decline. This trail coming down is nasty. I think it's a 400 foot elevation change in a short amount of distance, which means it is super steep. It's also very slippery because that sand on the rock doesn't give you any traction at all. But it's going to be nasty going back up. But be careful going down, probably more dangerous going down than going back up. And I would also say probably the steepest decline I've ever done, only second and a close second to Black Canyon of the Gunnison, if you saw that video. Because you can't see this sign from the river, what you need to do is you need to mark a landmark. And one good landmark is this black volcanic rock outcropping. Because what a lot of people often do is on their way back, they go past the trailhead and they can actually get themselves lost. Okay, staying corrected, about 20, 30 yards after the sign I showed you before is another sign. But as you can see, it's a little bit away from the river. So even that sign that is in a sense on the river uh, could be missed if you're not paying attention down along the riverbed right now but boy oh boy will you check out these incredible fall colors contrasting with the red rock the junipers absolutely gorgeous down here A lot of weight here, bro. Nah. It's kind of slick for sure. Bear call. Man. Yeah. yeah, baby. Oh. Ten years ago, it would have been a piece of cake. If I was John's age, it would be no problem, right, John? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> oh, your age, I just fly up this thing. Yeah, yeah Spider Man. Oh. Spider Man. Oh. Come back. on, Spider Man. Here. Spider Man, Here. Spider -Man. Spider -Man. Oh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm taking a little break right now. To get to the water, it's 1.1 miles. We are right now at 1.5 miles. And let me make one comment. A number of people say it's not very pretty until you get to the waterfalls and the actual subway feature itself. Well, they've 
they've never been down here in the fall because this is absolutely gorgeous. So we're currently about three miles into this trail and there's a few sand patches, but it's definitely slow moving. We've had a couple river crossings. We primarily have stayed on the left side. There's still a relatively defined trail at that point. I'm sure shortly we'll be getting into the water. So we've arrived, I believe, at the first of two waterfalls. Here's where the magic starts happening in the subway. Also have the uh, water shoes on, or the old gym shoes, I should say. And uh, we're going in water from now on. Now let me also add, they call it slick rock for a reason. That rock, I have great grip on my shoes. But that rock that you're coming around and going up and over is super slick. A little bit of sand on there, and you slide in the water. A little bit of algae growing on it, and it's super slippery. We've all gone down once or twice already, so just take your time and be careful. So the guys want to go swimming. This should be pretty interesting. This is the way to end the trip. We're all going swimming. <laughs> Something we'll never forget. This Got is the culmination of a great week together, right Absolutely. guys? Absolutely. All right, here we go. We'll find, waterproof. we'll find out pretty we'll soon, won't we? This is the epitome of peer pressure. Doing something I technically don't want to do. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa, Andrew, Andrew! Oh. 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 Cannonball or jump in? You can do both. All right, here we go. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks. And remember, there's always room for you on every National Park adventure.